This is a simple alarm technical support video. A question that we often get from customers when they're choosing a high level alarm is whether they should choose the conductivity or precision probes or a model with a float switch on it. So conductivity probes for starters detect water within a quarter of an inch, so they're very precise. They also don't introduce any moving parts into the sump. Moving parts like a float switch can at times get caught on something else, which defeats the very purpose of what you're trying to achieve. Conductivity probes are perfect when you're in an application that has mostly clear water. On the other side, a float switch takes about six to eight inches of range in order to activate a high level alarm. It does introduce a moving part into the sump. So you might ask yourself, why would I ever want to have a float switch? Well, both products are rated for outdoor use or indoor use. If you're in an outdoor sump that has pretty much clean water, and of course, in a high level alarm, both of them are gonna sit over the water level. However, if you have a lot of floating debris inside of your sump, things like insects, leaves, sticks, etc., a stick, a wet stick, or a, a wet leaf can trigger a false positive with the precision probes. So in those cases, you probably want to go with the float switch, which is pretty much bulletproof against any debris you might have in your sump. So again, if you're in clean, clear water, or very close to clean, clear water, the precision probe is probably the better tool for you. If you're in an outdoor sump that has a lot of floating debris, a float switch is probably the best choice. So if you have any questions about this, you can contact us by emailing to customer service at sumpalarm.com or get on the website www.sumpalarm.com and hit the chat box.